Hello, it is 10-10-2016. 10, 10, we are here on the leadership call. Um, so a few things to discuss, of course, lots of great new programs. Just got finished with rallies, um, so lots of good stuff there. We do want to say to those who were affected by the storms on the coast that we are so sorry. Um, I know some of our leaders, or lots of our leaders, have people on their teams that were affected. And, um, you know, please reach out. Let us know how you're doing. Let your district manager and your upline know how you're doing um, and if there's assistance that you need anything that we can help you with with your business because um, we truly do want to be there for you and I think we're going to talk a little bit more about maybe some ways that we can help do a little brainstorming and um, but there's good news to be had Amanda can you talk are you able to speak that may be a no can you type in the chat box Miss Amanda Oh no, that's okay. I'll share it for her. I will just blow her surprise now. <laughs> oh, can you talk now? Yes, sorry. Okay, so, so you got your what number recruit this weekend? My third. Woo! And so yes. Wake up. Rise up. Oh, she's got a pom-pom, she did it. <laughs> you gotta watch the recording. She put the pom-pom up for you, Amanda. <laughs> So she is on her way and I know Amanda tell me what you were talking about because you really understand how to make sure you get this rise up bonus so what's your next plan of action my next plan of action yes um, I plan on getting more recruits still I wanted to expand my team as much as I can but um, I don't know <laughs> Well, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Does she understand <laughs> that the rise up bonus? If you have one person not order, you, you, you're in trouble if you only have three, right? So, so you need to have more than three to make sure you have those three orders in the campaign for four campaigns, right? Right. Right, and she has her downline looking for team members, and those sales are going to help to compensate in case the sales is starting to fall uh, below when her team is also recruiting. So very happy. Just want to congratulate you, Amanda. Thank you. Yes, my uh, my downline April actually has one on the line now, so we're keeping our fingers crossed. Yay! That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. And so, Sarah, before we started, and um, we were just chit-chatting a little, and you guys were were talk going to talk about how maybe we could help and see what some ideas um, people had about helping the representatives who were in the storm. Yeah, absolutely. I think we need to talk, you know, we'd love to, you know, you know, I've got several people, we've got several people here that are from the Beaufort area, you know, South Carolina, Charleston area that, um, you know, weathered the, you know, there's weathered the, the hurricane and now it's how do we get back out there and really help our representatives and also the community. And one of the things that we talked about in our representative call was fundraisers. Um, so that is a great way to help. Um, you know, you could do one for the first responders who are out there helping. You know, you could do one for families, churches, et cetera. There's a, there's a lot of people right now that could possibly really do with an Avon fundraiser. So just reaching out, um, you know, to, to those folks. And in return, you know, our Avon representatives, you know, as, you know, just like, you know, some of the people I've spoken to, you know, they had a lot of cleanup to do. Some fences broke down, you know, yard work. You know, there's there's been a lot of things. So definitely, how do we try to uh, maximise your income as well while helping the community? So, you know, just like to put that out there and get any, you know, feedback as well from the group um, to see what their suggestions or ideas that, that could help local representatives that, you know, right up to, you know, Virginia area. Absolutely. And we, we talked about on the representative call, having customers add on personal care items to their to their orders to send. Um, and so that was one way to help um, organizations um, that help would be great fundraisers and God's Pit Crew being one of those that is kind of close to Virginia. Um, and um, of course, um, I know what other organizations are out there helping feed on the street, Sarah? Yeah, yeah, there's... There's um, 
feel, I mean, there's CODA, there's all these different ones. There's churches right there, you know, helping local communities. You know, a lot of people have lost um, their food out of the fridges. You know, they didn't have electricity. You know, some of them still don't have electricity back. So, you know, definitely doing one for the local churches who are trying to give back people so that they have food in their fridge or that kind of stuff. I mean, from the smallest thing to the largest thing, there are definitely... Um, definitely ways we can reach out to the community and Avon can, can help um, and in return, you know, you know, build your customer base as well, you know, and um, right. you know, really work with that community because that's a good way of, you know, showing people that, that you care, which obviously we do, and that we want to give back to the community. So, and they'll remember this, you know, they always remember. You know, you look at the first responders, I know, so many people have wrote so many posts about those first responders who risked their lives to help us, you know, get us out of our homes, make sure that we were safe, you know, all that kind of stuff. So what can we do now to, to help them? I think that's a great idea, partnering with the churches to do fundraisers. And a, a, another great idea is, is the add-on orders and making up little plastic goodie bags, little Ziploc goodie bags to take out. I mean, people that are out there helping and cleaning up, you know, some hand sanitizer, some some skin so soft little tube of skin so soft lotion, some you know some lip glosses, some lip balms, mm -hmm. and the, and throw a little and throw your business card in there with it, tie it up with a little ribbon around it, and just you know walk by and hand it to to them. We appreciate what you're doing for us, yeah. and um, you know they'll remember that. Like like um. Sarah said, they'll remember that, you know, Avon gave this to me and it was so nice to be able you know, to get done and put some lotion on my hands or put some, you know, some lip balm on my lips while I'm out here in the sun, you know, working, cleaning all this up. They will remember that. Absolutely. And also to add on to that, I know Gwenda mentioned last time Bug Guard is, is, you know, they were talking about it all over the news. They were worried about the Absolutely. Z virus, et cetera. So, you know, you've got a lot of people out there right now, you know, working, um, diligently to remove those trees, to get power lines up, all of that kind of stuff. So, you know, they could probably use a bottle of bug guard or two, et cetera. So, you know, don't forget right. to reach, reach out because that bug guard fundraiser goes right through um, now to a quarter four. So mm -hmm. just, you know, so that's also something that, um, you know, people are very worried about as well that we can, we can aid and assist them with. Right. Don't you know with all that standing water, there's going to be some serious bugs yeah absolutely absolutely so so you know like guys, don't don't underestimate what you can do with my uncle doing what he does i've been to every banquet that they have every single year it's a fundraiser banquet and they tell what they've done all year long and i can't tell you how many times he's told us about you know being in one of these places and they have a, you know a tractor trailer of water maybe um and i remember one particular time that it was water and they lined up I can't tell you. He said it was just past his sight. And he said they were so grateful. People were waiting for a long time to get water. So, you know, they desperately wanted it. I mean, it's not something that you're going to sit hours to wait for if it's not, if you're not in desperate need. And they right. turned people away. That tractor trailer was empty before the line was. And so, I mean, don't underestimate what, what that does. Mm -hmm. When we help those organizations to get on the street and help. Cause you could pack up, you could pack up a basket full of little goodie bags, you know what, and, and go and pull up your car, open up your trunk, open up your back hatch and put, you know, free goodie bags, free, you know, free, whatever you want to put on there, free Avon. And, you know, they'll, they'll stand there to get, they'll, till you're empty too, right? Yeah. Cause there's a lot of people, I know there was a lot of those shelters um, and they were, you know, the schools were the shelters and they're doing cleanup right now. You know, some schools in the area are not open till Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, even, you know, where I live, the schools, you know, aren't going back till Thursday. So there's a, people, a lot of people out there doing cleanup right now that could probably do with some bug guard and stuff like that. I could totally imagine. And, and Sarah, too, that's the stories that God's Pit Crew always tells, too. It's always churches in the local area also. I mean, the schools are as well, but churches yeah. will house people. They house God's Pit Crew. God's Pit Crew doesn't stay in a nice hotel room. They sleep under pews and on that's pews. Right. They yeah. sleep in churches. Um, they also bring food. They bring women with hot food so they, mm -hmm. they can go to places. They have a, 
um, one on wheels now, thanks to donations, where they can go to schools and offer food uh, in churches. And uh, so, and the reason I keep bringing them up, I know Susan and Sarah, y'all have representatives that are close, but I don't. So if you're not close and you want to get your money to those folks, um, you know, donate to an organization who is there working. Right, right. exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Some good, some good suggestions out there. So that's awesome, awesome. Um, so to go on from that, we talked about the rally bundles. Um, you know, I, I think the big thing too is, is you know, with that, you know, this is the leader call. You know, really looking at how do we help our representatives bounce back and really, you know, make sure that they earn the money that they need to earn. So, you know, part of that whole positivity thing is that the really resiliency and bounce back so you know just touch base with all of your team members how are they going you know what do they need and then let's work out a plan so that we can maintain you know where you need to come income wise for you and your family and you know get everybody back focused on on you know where they need to be and what's important to them and that thousand dollars with rise up i know that some folks uh, may not you know have their mind there quite yet but um some that maybe didn't have a total loss but need some extra money to fix a few things around you may really this is the time that they can go after that rise up bonus there's others that need to make extra income now too um and so even with online sales if if folks in the area maybe aren't you know uh, ready to purchase yet so definitely remember that recruiting message and that big bonus they can get yeah, because I think most of them would probably have, you know, I know just with us, you know, we, we had to move out to a hotel for a couple of days. So we incurred expenses that we didn't think that we were going to incur. So, you know, this is the prime time to, okay, so let's look at my Avon business. Like I want to get back, you know, all of the, you know, those incurred costs that I had. So, you know, let's really look at it and plan it so I'm not out of, pocket any more than than what you know what I should be because that definitely was a surprise expense on our behalf Sarah not just your hotel because when you're out like that you're, you have to eat out you have to yeah. there's so many expenses um more gas to get where you had to go that was not home um yeah. so lots of things that these people can use extra income for yeah um, so if you're just going to do the personal care items just as a start add on for customers personal care items that you can send and or take if you're in a close area who's going to do it hands <laughs> yep. i think that's a great idea. <laughs> excuse me i think that's a great idea i know amanda's on board she just can't talk all the time with the <laughs> with the phone <laughs> I think it's a great idea too. I think it's especially um, bug guard, hand sanitizers. You know what? Even 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 a shower gel. I mean, think of some of those people out there that are working that that aren't going to have water for quite a while. Um, there are people that are in you know having to stay in the shelter longer than they expected. Definitely. I think too. I'm gonna I'm gonna send an email to Avon. You know we have the 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 wash for the face that we it does you don't need water i think they need to come up with something like that for the body because then if we're in this situation like with hugo it was weeks and weeks and then our water smelled like pine needles um so that might be a suggestion you know especially in disaster areas where you can't use the water you can have something at least to you know to wash or to you know cleanse yourself too mm -hmm. Good idea. Right. What else out there? <laughs> I know you are wanting to raise those titles up too. So, so we've got a, a you know we're going to overcome whatever's going on you know with your team members on the coast by helping them to to get back up and um, that way they can still have a great holiday and and you guys can too. And you know, that is hard, you know, when we have a situation like that mentally to get yourself from point A when you're going through the storm to point B, now we're in the recovery and, and cleanup mode. I'm going to let you know, mentally, it's been hard. It's been hard trying to get myself, okay, I got to get back into my, I got to get my orders delivered. I probably won't have any orders this time, but you know what? That's okay. 
you know, we didn't foresee this coming and, and, but getting the mental back into what we need to do, that's been the hardest for me is getting back into the, uh, you know, back into everything. Well, I commend you because you're here and that's yes. what's <laughs> back with your peers, people that love you, people that understand and empathize. And that's, what's going to turn it around. It's just your spirit. You're here. Yeah, that's so right. true. That is so that's true. true. Yeah. yeah. And I agree, Deborah. It's it is hard. Um, just just the representatives that, uh, that I've talked to, and my North Carolina district thought they were far enough inland they weren't going to be affected. Well, it just oh. happened to turn inland. Yeah. And you know, it, it went up into Raleigh in the Durham area, and so they have this massive amount of flooding. So, yeah. not only are they trying to get their mind regrouped, they're trying to you know get over the shock of oh wow, you know, we just got caught up in this hurricane and we didn't think we were going to be involved in it. So it is, and I was thinking about that too, just because I, everyone that I've talked to, they're kind of in this shock mode. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the first big step. Yeah. So if you have something to focus back. on and a plan and a goal to focus on, that'll help you kind of push yourself out of that shock mode. I and think my goal today was to get my office because it's been like a storage place right now. So I've been, this is why I look like I do today. I've been out there. That was one of my goals is get back out there, get it all set up so I can, I can get my mind to regroup because the last few months I haven't had an office. It's just been, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I've been out there working my business. So I had today because, you know, I figured, well, I'm going to get out there and do it. And I've been cleaning up, so. That's kind of helping me getting back into the mode and getting to the groove of everything. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I think all those things, like if you have a local district page or whatever, just share the positives today. Let's really yeah. help them. You know, this is what I did back at my business and stuff like that because I know exactly when I walked back into my house yesterday, my husband and my daughter and I, we cleaned up all day. My back is sore and I was like, you know what, we'll just do this tomorrow afternoon or something like that. And he said, no, you know what, let's just do it and get it out of the way so that way we can yeah. return to normalcy. So I think that's a great tip. You know, let's get back our representatives and back the people that we work with and say, hey, you know what, let's do what we do best and we recover and we bounce back. So just, you know, those little positive things that we can put on Facebook or maybe send a quick text to your team members. Hey, this is what's happening out there. This is great news. So really turning it, turning it around to the positive and to help other representatives. I think that's awesome. Right. And this was in our rally slides. I don't know if you guys are seeing it, um, but I love this quote and it seems perfect. Um, a lot of people have gone further than they thought they could because someone else thought they could. And so uh, those of you who have been in the storm, we know you can do it. We believe in you. We're here for you. And um, so just know that you can do it and we're your belief if you lose it for a second. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. That is awesome. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Because I know this week we're going to do it. We're going to bounce back. We're going to make things happen. Is there anything else out there that people would like to share? Let's bring it on like Avon brings it on. That's right. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll play that commercial a couple of times and get me get my psyche going. There you go. <laughs> You guys are the leaders. So as soon as we get off this Zoom call, everybody go share the new boss video. Share it every day. Let's rebrand. Let's regroup. Let's make our minds positive and let everybody see the new Avon. All right. Let's have a great week out there, team. Right. All right. Be on next Monday. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.